Hello everyone from all over the world, this is Paul with another Christmas special. In the video Top 10 Christmas Songs to Play on Guitar I asked which song you would like to see me explain and it was a tie between Last Christmas and Jingle Bell Rock. So Last Christmas I did yesterday and today we're doing Jingle Bell Rock. And if you forgot how it sounded, here it is in total. I'm explaining the two guitars, the intro and the chord guitar part, and then the vocal guitar part. The intro is played in the key of D as well as the rest of the song. And I'm playing with a pick. The intro starts with a D chord, but then just two notes from a D chord. The D and the F sharp. Fret 3 and fret 2 on the bottom two strings. And read along with the tab so we can do it a little bit more quickly. And we slide up. So we slide up from probably fret 2 and 1, because we haven't got more space. And then to fret 2 and fret 2 on the 2nd and the 1st string. And then back to fret 3 and 2. And then your pinky plays fret 5 on the bottom string. That can be a stretch for some of you, but... Yeah, so. And then we play fret 2 and 3 from the D chord again, but now on the 3rd and the 2nd string. So fret 2 on the G string and fret 3 on the B string. You can slide it up and then do a bend. So slide it up a whole note to fret 4 and 5, but I like to play it like this. My ring finger and my pinky on fret 4 and 5. And then do a bend. You can bend down and up, it's the same thing. And then back to fret 2 and 3 on the same strings. So. And then two open strings, the B and the G string. And then you end on the F sharp, fret 4 on the D string and fret 2 on the G string which is again from the D chord. So played real slow in total, sounds like this. That is a walking bass line to the D chord. From A to D downward, so we got an A, a G, fret, so the A string, open fifth, the G note, fret three on the sixth string. F sharp, fret 2 on the E string, a low E string, and an open low E string. Now we go to the verses, and in the verses I wrote basically every note as a quarter note, but you can add some nice strumming pattern to it, I'm going to show you that as well. But to make it a little bit more easy to read, I just put it there as quarter notes. So we start on the D chord, it's written down as this, but you can do it like this. Just add an extra up note. Down, up, down, down, up, down. And don't forget the song is played in a shuffle, an eighth shuffle. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So just a D chord. And the next chord is D major seven. Just fret two, two and two on the first, second, and third string. And the fourth string, our root note is open. And I just play it like with a bar with my index finger. Then a D6, which adds a 6th to a D chord, and the 6th tone of D chord is a B note. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, 6, hence the D6. And the B is our open second string. Very nice. And then we go to an F sharp minor. Don't be afraid of the minor chords, it's not that hard. If you've got trouble playing bar chords, here's a short video you can check out. F sharp minor. You can play it like this, but I played with my thumb. So my thumb plays F sharp and then fret 2 and 2 on the 5th and the 4th string. And your index finger does a bar on the 1st, 2nd and 3rd string. And then we got the the high notes, the accents. It's an F sharp chord 
played in a different position on fret 9, but then only the upper strings. So fret 10 on the B string, and fret 9 on the E string. If you like to add more, you can just play any note of the F sharp chord. So the rhythm is like this, from D6, So the F sharp is played just in front of the beat. And then the accents are played up down. And then we continue the verse playing a D6 again. Like this. And then we go to B7 over D sharp. You can play a D sharp diminished as well, but I think this sounds good as well. And then to E minor, and I like to play this version of the E minor because we got the ascending bass note. And then as a result, this is the E minor shape. You play fret 2 on the D string, open and open 2nd and 3rd string, and then fret 3 on the E string. to an A7 chord, but we've got the accents over here. Play the A chord over here or over here, um, and I choose to play it over here because we've got the accents high up the neck, and if we have to cross uh, that distance from here to here in that short of time, it's going to be quite difficult, so I try to play it over here um, without any root note because it's a short chord, so only 5-6-5-5 five, five, five from the D to the E string. And then the accents again, fret 14 on the B string and 17 on the E string. So why over there? Because the song sounds like that. Again the same, up down. It's just an A chord. We all know the A chord over there. <laughs> yeah. Don't we? Yeah, we do. And then the verse continues with an E minor chord and then regular A7. Back to E minor. Back to A7. E minor. E minor over B. So. Which is just the same chord but then with a different root note. So our root note changes from E to B. And we got the same descending pattern again. A, G, F sharp, E. Back to the verse. Verse in total sounds like this. After the chorus, the chorus starts with a G chord. Any G you like. You can play a bar chord G, an open G like this, or like this, or like this, whatever you like. It's all good. It's all good, man. One bar, one, two, three, four. And then to G sharp diminished. G sharp what? Diminished. So your middle finger plays fret four on the E string. That's your G sharp. Your index finger does a bar on the second, third, and fourth string but we need fret 4 on the 3rd string as well. So our ring finger plays fret 4 on the G string. Just mute it. So from G it sounds like this. And then we go to D, the D chord, with a walking bass line to, not to A, but to D again. Start off on the D. Just strum the D chord, or only the root note and then the chord, and then C sharp, B and A. So it's D string, fret 4 on the A string, fret 2 on the A string, and the open A string. And then you end playing one bar of D. And then to E, E major, and then E7. Both one bar. And then a staccato A7 chord. Just played very short. Staccato means short. Two, three, four. 
Come on. Two, three, four. And then you end on the walking bass line again. And then you go back. And now to the melody part of the song, the vocals. So we start our melody on fret 7 on the G string. Jingle bells, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Three times fret 7. Three times fret 6. And then fret 4, fret 6, and fret 4 again. And then fret 4 on the D string. I'm using my index finger for both strings. The next part, 4 and 6 and 4 again on the G string. And then to 4 and 7 on the D string. And then 4, 6, 4 and 5 on the D string. This is our first part of the verse. Then we go to fret 2 on the D string, followed by fret 4 and 5. And then 5 and 2 and 4, 2 and 4 on, on the G string. Fret 5 is on the D string. Do you see me using all my fingers? That's how I write my guitar parts mostly. I'm pretty comfortable playing with my pinky and my ring finger, but this will be a good exercise to use those fingers as well. So the second part is two, four, and five on the D string, followed by a two on the G string. And the first verse ends with fret four on the G string. Four, two, four, 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 two, two. So it sounds like this. So the alternate ending of the verse, it goes like this. So fret 4 on the G string two times, fret 2 on the B string, fret 2 on the G string, and then fret 3 on the B string. The chorus starts with fret 4 on the G string, and then fret 3 on the B string, and then fret 5 on the B string. Fret 3 and then open. Open and fret 3 and fret 5 again. So it sounds like this. That's the first part of the chorus, and then you got the downward line. 3, 2, open on the second string. Fret 2 on the G string, and fret 4. String. Two, three. And now we go to the second part of the chorus. It starts the same. And then there is the ending line of the chorus, fret two on the G string. And then three times four. And then back to two. And you slide up to six. And then four, and then two. So the chorus in total sounds like this. And that's the song. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I didn't get much sleep tonight because I was finishing up my tabs for you. So thanks for watching and I... Oh, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah. All the best. Bye. Have a nice day.